Hey everybody, Steve here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about light switches and smart light switches to be exact. So I had a company reach out to me asking me to check out their light switches. So this is from a company called Lumary. And they end up sending me two different types of light switches that I'm gonna install in my house. Now I got these light switches sent to me for free to check out and review, but everything I say in this video is gonna be my own opinion and I'm not being told what to say. So the two types of light switches that they sent me is just a dimmer switch and then a three-way switch. Now both of these can be set up and used with your smartphone or your Amazon Echo or Google Home. Now before I go ahead and unbox these and show you what's in the box, I'm gonna show you my setup in my house. So let's go ahead and we'll turn the camera around and we'll give you a quick look at where I'm installing these. So this is a quick look of our basement. It's actually divided into two different areas. We have some lights up here and we have lights over here. Well, in the TV side of it, we have those lights hooked up to this dimmer switch. So it's just a normal light switch turns on off the lights but it also has a dimmer built into it so we can dim the lights during movie time well then back here this first first side that we come down these lights um, are right next to the stairs and there is a light switch here that'll turn on and off those lights and then at the top of the stairs uh, we have a light switch right there so this light switch and the second light switch at the bottom of the stairs are linked together so the light switches that they sent me, there's two on a box, but the way that uh, three-way switches work, I should be able to just replace this light switch right here and be able to control my lights and then use the second light switch that's in the box somewhere else in my house. So I should make it clear that I'm not an electrician. So if you are concerned about doing this project, I would call a professional. So these are the two light switches that they sent me. One, we have the dimmer switch and then we have a three-way switch and there's two of them in this box. So first, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at this dimmer switch. Um, if you want to look at the box here, I'll just do a quick turn around of it. You can stop and pause if you want to read any of that. And let's go ahead and we'll open this up. All right away, we just have our light switch. Now this is a dimmer switch, so it is pretty fat. If we were to compare it to a normal light switch, it is quite a bit bigger. Now this is a normal light switch, this is not a dimmer. So on the back there are four wires here. You got your neutral wire, your hot wire, black. You have your load wire, which is this brown one, so this one would go to the light. And then you have a ground as a safety. Now on the front here, this is kind of transparent. Now I don't know if there's gonna be any light that'll shine through this, but we'll find out once we install this. So like I said, there's four wires connected to this. Normally on a normal light switch, there's only three wires connect to it. You can put your, your live on either one of these and then you put your load on the other one. It doesn't matter on these. And then you have your green ground screw. Next in the box, we got some wire nuts and some labels so that we can mark our wires once we open up the, the wall box. And then we have some instructions. One for how to install the light switch for the dimmer switch. And then we have our voice control so that it'll work with uh, your Google Assistant or your Amazon Echo. So we'll look at those later. And then we have a light switch cover. This is a standard size light switch cover. So if you do not like this cover that came with it, you can get any one at your local store that'll fit this light switch as well. And this one does not have any holes in it, but you will be able to screw into it if you had a cover that has holes in it. Let's put that aside and we will we'll look at the three-way switch. So once again, do a quick turn around of the box. And we'll open this one up and we see our two light switches. So we'll pull out one of these and just like the other one, it does have this little bit of transparent button. And if we spin it around, we have five wires coming out of this one instead of four. So we have our neutral wire, our hot wire, black. We have our ground. And we have the two traveler wires that run in between the three-way switches. Now, if we compare this to a normal three-way switch, once again, it's still bigger because it has the smart capabilities in it. And then this only has four wires on it. We have our green, which is our ground. We have these two terminals, which are our travelers. And then we have this black screw. And this is gonna either be coming from the power service, from the power company, or it's going 
to the light, depending on where it is on the circuit. So let's go ahead and we'll look at this uh, warning that's on the back of it. And they give a warning to, it says, to reduce the risk of overheating and possible damage to other equipment. Do not install to a uh, control a receptacle, just like a normal outlet, a motor operated appliance like a ceiling fan or a fluorescent light fixture. Now, I don't know if that also means like a CFL because that is actually a compact fluorescent, but I think a CFL will be fine on this because it is low voltage, but I won't use it for the big long tube fluorescent lights. Moving on, we have our wire nuts and our labels to mark our wires once we're inside the wall outlet. Once again, we have our, our guide for our voice control and how to install this into the outlet. And then we have, once again, two wall plates. Before we get started on installing our light switch, we need to actually kill the power to the basement. So let's go over to the fuse box and we will kill the circuit. Let's go ahead and we'll open our breaker box here. And we're gonna find one that says basement. Um, basement. So right now I have the lights turned on in the room. So they're on, so then I can start, when I start flipping the breakers, if the lights go out, then I know I found the right one. So right here we have one that says basement. Now we'll see that I killed the lights over there, but I did not kill the lights in this room. So we're gonna have to find one more. Uh, maybe this one? Nope, that wasn't it. There we go. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the dimmer switch. We see that is off, so we'll just go ahead and we'll remove the cover plate. We'll remove the outlet. So I have this fluke tester. And this, if you normally stick this into like an outlet, it'll tell if there's any electrical current going through it. So we'll just use this just to test and make sure that there's no power going through this thing. And we're all good there. So now we can remove our wires. So if we look at this dimmer switch, there are uh, only three screws on this one. There is the ground, the green one, and then there's two other ones. Well, one of these screws had two wires that were sticking into it. And then this other one had a single wire. Well, the single wire is the one that actually goes to my lights. And these, the other one comes from the power grid. So looking at my wires that I have in here, um, I don't know if these ones will actually work for the thickness of wire that I have. This is kind of like a, maybe a 12 gauge wire. I think these little ones are for, uh, for 14 gauge. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put some bigger nuts on here. Because for this one, I need to connect these two wires and then include the black one off of here. Let's go ahead and we'll just wind these all together. So there's all my blacks. Now the one that goes to the actual light. Now I should be able to include the included nut. And we're gonna put this to the brown. So brown goes to the light. Now my neutral wire had four wires. So I'm gonna use an even bigger nut to include all these together. And then finally, our ground wires. Now, if this all installed, before I actually push this back into the box, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the power back on and I'm gonna see if this actually uh, turns the lights on. So we have a blinking light on here. And it turned the lights on. And it's dimming them. All right, so now that we know that that works, we're gonna go ahead and turn the power back off and then we'll push all these wires back into the box. Now the wires that are in this box are ready. We're pretty thick. So it's gonna take a little bit to get all these wires pushed back in here. And be careful when you push them in so that you don't disconnect any of your wires already. Now here's a little tip for you. The screws that come in here, um, make sure you, before you put these screws in, make sure you push the box in all the way. Do not try using the screw to help pull the light switch into the box. Um, I had problems in the past where I tried doing that because of how big this previous outlet was. And I ended up breaking the holes that are inside the plastic box. And if you do that, you're kind of in trouble because you might have to take apart the wall if you screw that up. What I ended up doing was I went and got some fat screws and I slowly screwed them into uh, the outlet box. 
and then I was able to fix it that way. But do be careful, make sure you push the box in before you start screwing it in. Now right away I could not get this uh, plate on. There are tabs at the top and the bottom that you need to push on. That's what actually will keep that on. But you can always replace this with another one that has holes in it. Just gotta pick them up at the store. So it's now time to set up our Wi-Fi switch to our network. Now, when you first power this on, this light right here should be blinking rapidly to show that it is ready to be paired. But if it is not blinking like this one right here, if it's solid, there's two buttons on the bottom. There's a reset and a restart. The reset is used in case the switch is not operating functionally. You can hit that and it'll reset it. And this restart is used to set up the Wi-Fi. So if we hold this down, we could probably put this back into pairing mode. And now our light is blinking. That was probably about 10 seconds I held that down. And now we're ready to pair this in our phone app. Now we can go ahead and we can set up the app on our phone. So go ahead and grab your manual, read through that and follow the instructions in there. Let's just go through it real quickly. So first go to the app store and download the Luminary app, open it up and create an account. Now we need an account in order to be able to control this remotely and to be able to use our Amazon Echo or our Google Assistant. So let's go ahead and we'll open up the Luminary app. And in the upper right corner, there is a plus sign. So let's go ahead and we'll click that plus sign. And we're gonna select what type of device this is. So this is a switch. So find switch in the very first list of items. Next, it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna look for our switch. And then when it finds our switch, it's gonna ask us to put in our Wi-Fi name and our password. Let's go ahead and put in that information and hit okay. Now it's gonna to connect to our device and give the device the name of our Wi-Fi and the password so it can connect to the internet. Now once that's complete, we can customize this and name this device whatever we want. So I'm gonna change this to the name Movie Room because that's what room it is located in. Now it brings us to our device. We can hit the button and turn on and off our lights. Not a problem. And if we hit the settings button, we can go ahead and we can tell this device what kind of light bulb that we have connected to it. Now you'll wanna select the right kind of light bulb, otherwise you could have flickering if you have the wrong one selected. At the very bottom, we can then check our minimum value that we wanna have set as zero. So go ahead and change the setting to the lowest setting that you want, so dim your lights down and then hit save. Now we can just go ahead and we can turn on and off the light with the button. And then if we hit the little sun icon on the bottom right, uh, that'll bring us into a slide bar where we can slide up and down our brightness. Now let's go ahead and we'll set this up with our Amazon Alexa. So go ahead and open up your Amazon Alexa app and at the very bottom right there is the option for devices. Now scroll down the bottom and select enable smart skills and we're going to go up to the top right and hit the search bar and we're going to search for smart life. Next it's going to bring us to a page where we can sign in with our account details from the Luminary app. So go ahead and enter your username and password and hit connect. Now the skill is gonna be linked to your Amazon Echo account. Next is gonna look for our devices and this will take about 20 seconds. And then it's gonna find our movie room light switch. Now we can go ahead and tell Alexa to, Alexa, turn off the movie room. Or you can even say, Alexa, dim the movie room to 50%. Now I found out after I started recording this video that I'm not gonna be able to replace this light switch with one of these smart switches. And that's because all of these smart switches require a white wire, the neutral wire. Now these things need the white wire because this needs to have power to the device so that it can actually get its Wi-Fi signal sent to it. And this needs to be on all the time. Well, these light switches do not have a uh, white wire sent to them. The previous owner of this house set up this basement and the way that he wired it, he wired the power directly to the light bulbs and then he sent the wires from the light bulbs to the switch, which then gets daisy chained upstairs to the second switch. Now, because the way he did it, the wire that runs from the light bulbs to the switch has three wires and it. it has the ground, a black, and a white. Well, because the way he wired it up, both of those wires are considered hot wires. So this light switch does not contain any neutrals in it. I can open up the box and I see a white wire, but that's actually the hot wire. Now, I'm gonna put a image up on the screen to show what I'm talking about. But power comes to that light bulb and then the single wire that runs from the light bulb to this light switch has three wires in it, a black, a white, and a ground. But the black and white wires, those are both actually hot wires. Now in the second image I'm showing you, this is how I was expecting it to be. I was expecting the power to come from the outlet 
to this light switch, which would then be daisy chained to the secondary light switch. And then a, another wire would run from this light switch to the light. That's how I was expecting it to work. And in that situation, I would have had a white wire that was connected to this light switch. So unfortunately, I can't hook up this light switch today, but that's okay. I'm gonna find another spot in my house to use this. So I'd like to thank Luminary for sending over these smart home devices for me to check out. Setting them up on my phone was super easy to do and it connected without a problem. Installing it into the wall was pretty simple as well. I really wish I was able to hook up this three-way switch, but unfortunately it requires that white wire that I do not have. But I cannot blame Luminary for that. Now, every smart light switch I have seen requires that white neutral wire. And that's because these devices constantly need power to them so it can run the Wi-Fi settings that are built into it. Now, these devices all connect to a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network, not a 5 gigahertz network. Even if your home wireless router says it's a 5 gigahertz network, chances are it has a 2.4 gigahertz wireless network built into it. Now, if you have any questions or comments about these devices, be sure to leave that down below and I will try to answer them. And if you have any electrical tips or tricks that you'd like to share with the group, leave that down below as well and maybe you'll help somebody else out of a sticky situation. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will have more smart home devices coming out in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.